be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now listen, today we're gonna continue our series on the quickest way to do certain things in Logic Pro 10. Today we're gonna be doing the quickest way to create a transitional effect in Logic Pro 10. So this is, this is where we're gonna be adding risers, transitional effects to like lead in from one section of the song to another. So for instance, I'll give you an example. We had this beat right here, and um, technically, you're gonna see here that there's no transitions, okay? So like this is the hook right here, this part right here, and then this is the verse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it from this part of the hook, or from the verse, going into the hook, and you'll see this absolutely no transitions and I'm going to show you the quickest way to create transitions in Logic Pro 10. Let's check it out. So, sounds pretty dope as it is, but a transition would actually help make this a whole lot smoother sounding. So, the quickest way to actually create a transition in Logic Pro 10 is to do this. So, this guy right here is called the Playhead. If you want to take it and put it um, about one measure before um, your next section, okay? So, one measure before your next section. For instance, this is a verse. We have one measure before we come into the hook the quickest way to do this is on all of your drums okay all your drum sounds are set for the 808 and maybe the kick okay what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually take this uh playhead place it one measure before and you're just going to go do something called command t which that's going to basically trim or cut this uh your loops here from there you just control m all right and again, if you want to have your 808, you, you can keep that. And what it's going to do is create a little bit of space here for us to do a transition. Okay. Um, I would also recommend maybe not doing the 808 again, not doing your main sample. Okay. But everything else, trim it. Push Command, uh, Control M to mute it. And now we have a little bit of space for a transition. Now, that actually could work for it, but you do need some type of riser or some type of effect that's gonna really work well for that. So, quickest way to do this, we're gonna actually go to the, to the plus sign, we're gonna create a software instrument track. And if you come over here to this default patch, okay, you're gonna be able to pull open some cool stuff here. So, if you go over here, we're gonna go to our sounds, all right, and all you gotta do is in, in search, type in rise. And when you type in rise, you're going to have all of these different options for risers, okay? These are transitional effects that come um, included in Logic Pro 10. So, for instance, And then what you want to do is, once you find the riser that you like, you want to come in one measure before, and I, I said one measure before on this, uh, you want to come in another measure before the measure that you actually uh, cut the dead space out of, and you want to start your riser two measures before, you know what I'm saying, that next section. So I'll just go ahead and do it. Alright, so that's pretty simple. You just literally gonna cut out some dead space, one measure before the next section, and then two measures before you're gonna start your riser. Alright, now that's simple enough to complete this, okay? Only the other thing you're gonna wanna do is put like what's called like some type of symbol or a crash after that, and that's really gonna take it home. So you can drag and drop like a uh, symbol sound or whatever if you want, um, or you can, if you already have them loaded up like I do, you can just go ahead and push that in. 
And then like right when the uh, one, the, the first beat of the, the, the next transition hits, then you go ahead and hit that uh, symbol. And y'all, that's the quickest way to create transitions in Logic Pro 10. Again, just to go, go over it, just making it simple, simplifying it. Let's say if you want to do it right here, literally you just take this playhead, one measure before, okay? One measure before the actual um, transition, I mean the actual next section, you're gonna just go ahead and take out some, boom, two measures before, you start your transition and then add a symbol. It's that simple, y'all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses, we have kits, we have a giveaway going. Make sure you go there and check out what we got going on. Make sure you're subscribed as well. Give me a thumbs up. Also, give me some suggestions on some more videos as far as the quickest way to do certain things. Appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next one.